Well, our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy, is out in Melbourne, where United are playing uh, their last pre-season friendly, or their latest pre-season friendly, I should say. So, Melissa, Cristiano Ronaldo dominating the agenda, even though he's not even in Australia. What's the latest you can tell us on his future? Well, the significant news is Chelsea, who are the one club that were actually tentatively considering him, have ditched their interest. Todd Burley, their owner, had talks with Mendes, Cristiano Ronaldo's agent. We know he's been trying to ship Ronaldo around Europe's elite. Bayern Munich, Napoli, PSG, they'd all long distanced themselves from any move for Ronaldo. But Chelsea had been quiet until the owner wanted to engage Thomas Tuchel about it. And after their talks, they've decided that Ronaldo is not on their agenda. Their focus is on strengthening the, de the defense. Now, Manchester United had always maintained Ronaldo is not for sale. They expect him to fill out his last year of his contract. They've also insisted that they completely understand and appreciate that he's absent from preseason for personal reasons, a family situation. Uh, they accept his reasoning and they believe that it is true. They say that he's in fantastic condition. As we've seen, you know, he's tweeted and, and shared pictures on Instagram of him keeping fit. So they say there's no over his uh, physical level obviously one of the the fittest players in world football really but ultimately Ronaldo did state his desire to leave Old Trafford but he's running out of options and it seems like he's actually going to have to stay and perhaps he'll try and swing it where you know the 25% pay cut that's in his contract will be waved away by United. Maybe he wants to try and muscle and maneuver a new deal. What happens, we'll wait and see, but it doesn't look like Stamford Bridge is on his cards. Okay, it looks as though the Ronaldo saga will uh, rumble on, but United are edging closer to bringing in a few new faces. Then there could be a resolution to the Frankie de Jong transfer saga. Can you tell us about that? So, Lissandro Martinez, as we reported yesterday, you, Manchester United are finalizing that deal with Ajax. The player has chosen to reunite with Eric Ten Hag over Arsenal, so we suspect a medical will be arranged quite quickly, and United's ambition is for him to link up with the squad here in Australia. Same with Christian Eriksen, three-year deal we know is verbally agreed. He also needs to have his medical just to ratify that contract. Again, United expect him to be on this preseason tour at some point. Frankie de Jong, as we know there, the complication is his deferred wages. United have long had an agreement with, in place with Barcelona for 72 million pounds to sign the midfielder. He's had conversations with Ten Hag. And as long as that deferred payment uh, is taken care of, with his salary and however that comes into play whether united build it into the the structure of the deal or barcelona take care of it that seems to be the only stumbling block now great stuff thank you very much melissa enjoy the game in melbourne 